I just turned 40. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, don't clap. My doctor just told me I only have three to six months of good pussy left. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. Well, which doctor told you that? And it was my dentist. <laughs> Open wide. <laughs> just kidding. It was Dr. Huxtable. <laughs> that was for my Americans. <laughs> I like dating guys with kids. Anybody got kids in here? Clap your hands. No? How old? How old? Really old. Good. I love dating guys with kids old enough for me to date too. Because <laughs> if you piss me off, <laughs> I'm fucking your kid. It's going to be a really weird Christmas when I become your daughter in law, sir. <laughs> That's what I call a checkmate. He hates it. He's not liking it. Somebody fuck your mom, huh? <laughs> I'm dating a younger guy, and he saw that I had a pair of extra panties, or you might call them knickers here, I don't know. I had an extra pair of panties in my purse, and he's like, oh, what do you have them in there for, because I made you so wet? And I'm like, no, sir, it's because I'm 40, and sometimes when I sneeze, I pee. <laughs> I also like dating adopted guys. Anybody adopted? Just makes me feel better that both of his parents didn't want him. Where only one of mine killed himself to get away from me. Ooh, relax, I can joke about suicide, okay? My dad killed himself when I was a kid, and I was really sad that it wasn't my mom. <laughs> That's her favorite joke. <laughs> I went to the funeral probably. I said, Chuck, can y'all cremate my mom for Mother's Day? They said, well, when did she die? And I said, well, I think she's going to fall down the stairs next week. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm actually a Ryanair middle seat enthusiast, okay? Yeah, and they're always like, you want to spend extra money to upgrade to a window seat? I'm like, if I had extra money, I would be spending that on drugs before the flight. <laughs> then I won't know which seat I'm in. Way better way to spend extra money. How about this? Is there an option where I can pay like 50 euro less and sit on the floor? Then I'd have a lot of extra money for drugs. And that'll be one hell of a flight to Perks and Caicos. Good, only two drug addicts in here. That's, that's good to know. I thought, yeah, I thought in Ireland we'd have more. Go into that uh, polyamorous stuff here, polyamory. No, you just cheat on her behind her back. Good, that's what I thought. I like that, I like that. If, if monogamous means you only have sex with one person, what's it called when you only do butt stuff? <laughs> Priesthood. Oh. I'll, take, I'll take that. I like a ooh, that's a good one. I went to Catholic school. Anybody else go to Catholic school here? Yeah. And why are you so enthusiastic about that? Better faith, baby. Ooh, I got kicked out of Catholic school. Can you believe it? You know what I got caught doing? I got caught molesting the priest. <laughs> he was asking for it in that robe. Talk about a frock twist. <laughs> I'm a full-time comedian, which means I'm very poor. So I just started a candle company, okay? And I was like, you know, if I was going to name a candle that smelled like a wet dream, what would I call it? Morning Woodwick. Oh, oh no? Okay, fine. What about if I was going to name a candle that smelled like small penis syndrome? A little wick energy. <laughs> yeah. Back to me being cheap. Uh, if I were a Disney princess, I'd be the budget version of Frozen. Defrosted. <laughs> My theme song is Let Herself Go. <laughs> I make them laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I think they need to have a Ryanair for Uber, okay? Because currently, Uber drivers' cars got to be within 10 years of age, but they need to have a separate app for people with piece of shit cars and call it Uber Risk, <laughs> where you just take your chances. You know, you might have to do something like help the driver put oil in his car on the way to your destination, but I'll get the rides half off, you know? And I, so actually, I started the app. I started that myself. I got two million views right now on TikTok, which means that if TikTok is banned tomorrow, I don't even exist, okay? But people are like emailing me like, I want to book an Uber Risk, I want to book, and I'm like, I've been doing comedy for eight years, and this is what y'all want to book me for? That's how expensive gas is 
in America, or petrol, is that what y'all call it? I don't know. I hate paper straws. You guys seem to like them in this country. But I like my straws how I like my women, plastic and disposable. I like my straws how I like my women, plastic and thrown into the river when I'm done with them. Okay, that was for my serial killers. They're not in here tonight, okay? I like my women how my grandma likes her straws, rinsed and reused. <laughs> Clap your hands if y'all on a date. Y'all on a date? Where y'all met? You don't even know? Y'all don't know if y'all on a date? Y'all holding hands? Y'all fucking tonight or what? What's going on? <laughs> Jeez. And the guys don't even ask you on dates anymore in America. Okay, they just want you to come to their house. They're like, you want to pull through? You want to pull through? I'm like, pull through? Like, what are you, a McDonald's drive through <laughs> Because I've seen your dick pics, buddy, okay? Unwillingly, but I've seen them. And let me tell you, at 3 a.m. on Friday night, McDonald's could ruin my ass a lot better than you could. <laughs> and they send you, like, weird shit in your DMs. Like, how did you meet? Did you send her an eggplant emoji or what? No? What, yeah, what, what kind of emoji did he send you? The wet one? No emojis? Oh, don't you love it when you go out for a conversation and people build a comedy club around you? That's fucking... That's fucking sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Woo! Where were we at? Suicide jokes? Is that what we're back to? Jesus Christ. Dating. Y'all seen that movie Spotlight? 250 priests caught molesting kids in Boston? You know how many priests there are in Boston? I looked it up. 238. <laughs> Turns out 12 of them were just dressing up as priests oh, for all the free blowjobs. Oh. Okay, the suicide joke was good, but the, the blow, okay, all right, all right, I see, I see where the line is drawn now. Okay, no problem, no problem. Oh, I hate breastfeeding mothers on the internet. Okay, normalized breastfeeding, normalized breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is normal, lady, but you know what's not normal? You doing naked yoga in a handstand, breastfeeding, videoing it, putting on the fucking internet. That shit's not normal, that's weird, okay? Taking a shit is normal, but you don't see me going around taking a shit, putting that all over Instagram, do you? No, because I put that shit on my Tinder profile where it belongs. Have some fucking class, Class. By the way, clap your hands if you're on Tinder. Are y'all fucking lying? <laughs> y'all all lying here. God damn. All right. Hey, man. Hey, has an ex ever tried to stab you before, sir? No? Bad dick. Don't. He's got bad dick. Don't so fuck him tonight, okay? Hey, let me tell you. Look, if an ex ain't ever tried to stab you, ain't got no good dick at all. Clap your hands if y'all missing a headboard on your bed. Good dick right here. Ladies, if you're trying to get pregnant tonight, he's the one. Clap your hands if you got all your teeth. Bad dick. Bad dick right there. Bad dick. Okay, they got to be missing a side tooth and a headboard. Okay? And, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm... I'm crazy, aren't I? It's because of my mom. It's my mom. It's my mom's fault, isn't it? <sighs> you ever want to tell someone they're an asshole, but you can't because it's your grandma? <laughs> She's an asshole, too. I mean, that's where I guess they all get it from, you know? What do y'all do here? What do you do besides not have fun at comedy shows? <laughs> huh? You visiting? You visiting? You on holiday? You live here? Oh, so you hate me, huh? You hate Americans, don't you? I'm from New Orleans, okay, but I moved to China to be a law professor, and then I accidentally became a rapper. <laughs> I know, my parents are really proud, but I'm not just any rapper, guys. I'm actually the best white female 40-year-old rapper from New Orleans who's ever lived in Beijing, China. <laughs> and I love to get back to the community with my music. Okay, I was performing a rap song for a blind children's charity last week. And there were two little blind boys sat in the front row, and one of them tapped the other one on the shoulder and whispered in his ear, I wish I was deaf too. <laughs> so then I kicked him in the ear. Ah, now you are deaf, bitch. Ah, just kidding. I would never do that. I love kids. Uh, the dead ones, anyway. Oh, okay. I'm Kimberly. That's me. Follow me on 